Have you ever made a decomesh curly wreath? It is one of the simplest wreaths you can make. Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. When I started making wreaths, that is the type of wreath that I started with and fell in love with decomesh. It's super easy to make and it makes a huge impact because all the curls just make the wreath look absolutely ginormous and beautiful. So without further ado, let's get started on our Christmas Curly Decomesh Wreath. Before we get started on our wreath, I wanted to introduce you to my co-host, Leo. He kind of supervises and no wreath is posted without his okay. With that being said, here are the supplies we're going to need. I'm going to be using three rolls of decomesh. They're all 10 inches by 10 yards. Then here is the gorgeous sign I'm going to be using. I love this Santa. And this is a bit of a mint green and that's why we're using this beautiful green decomesh. Decomesh is from Hobby Lobby. The sign is from Craft Outlet. My wreath base is from the Dollar Tree. This is the standard 14 inch metal wreath form. And of course, we are going to need some pipe cleaners. These are from the Dollar Tree Christmas section. The Dollar Tree wreath form is divided into six sections. In each section, I'm going to have five bundles of the curls. In your bundles, you can have anywhere from a two to five curls. And if you're going to do four curl bundles, you're probably going to end up doing four per section because it's a lot fuller. Since we're using three rolls of decomesh in our bundles, we're going to have five per section, which means five times six is 30. And I'm going to be cutting my pipe cleaners in half. So I grabbed 15 pipe cleaners for this. After cutting them in half, I'm going to make a little V. This is just something I do so it's easier to grab and put it straight onto my bundle. And I'm going to put it on the side. For the curly wreath, you're going to cut your decomesh into 10 inch strips. And I'm going to be using a rotary cutter to cut all my decomesh. You can cut these separately or you can just layer them to make your job a little bit quicker. My edges are so nice, I don't even have to cut a section out to straighten everything out. Since I'm cutting them all together, I know that I'm going to need 30 sets of my little bundles. This is how I store my deco mesh little bundles as I'm cutting them. I think this is very important to show you. This is actually just a laundry basket. But all my deco mesh is in separate little bundles. It's not fraying. I'm not stressing the deco mesh out any more than I have to. And I think this is a very important part of the actual wreath making process because it's going to affect your overall finishing look. Now it's time to start making our curls. All I'm going to use is this clip from the Dollar Tree. These come in a set of two. You can use a clothespin, whatever you have on hand, or you can just hold it in your hand. And then of course, our pipe cleaners that were cut in half. All I'm going to do here is let my deco mesh curl naturally. And I don't like to curl them too tight because I want a big floofy wreath. And I'm just going to clip it. Let's curl this next one. And I like to crisscross them. And then of course our last one. Now that I have my three curls, grabbing my pipe cleaner, and I'm just going to make it as tight as possible. Two twists. Your curl doesn't have to be perfect because there's going to be a lot of other curls next to it. And so now it's time to either, I don't know, whatever you do, put on music, watch whatever show or a movie, and just relax. This is therapy for me. I love doing this. And just let your deco mesh roll naturally and make your little curls. You can also add a little ribbon to it, or maybe you want to add some mesh tubing. I'm not going to be adding mesh tubing, but you can if you would like. And here we go. Just keep on adding them. When you got the three, put your pipe cleaner and tighten your little curl. Two twists in the back. And there you go. 
Next thing you know, you're going to have a gorgeous curly wreath. And as you can see, I'm not going in any order in particular. I mix and match them, whether it's the white on the outside, white on the inside, maybe red on the inside. It really doesn't matter. You want to kind of play around and do different sets, I guess, because you want the curls to be evened out on the actual wreath form. So there's really no particular order that I'm going in, just making my bundles. Now it's time to put our curl bundles onto our wreath form, and we're going to put five of these in each section. I'm going to be using the two middle rows, and our pipe cleaners should be more than enough to go around both of these and make a few twists to make it nice and neat. We're going to fold in half and fold back. And there you go, nice and neat. Next one. And I like working from the back because that's where you're going to be attaching. So very simple, both rows. And I'm just going to twist my little bundle in place. And then I'm going to fold and fold back. One, two, three, four, five. Look at this, that's only one section. And don't forget, as we fill this in, this is going to get pushed up it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful full wreath. If you see that there's a lot of one color, for example, like this had a lot of this mint here, I'm just going to put some white through, just kind of move it around. There you go. You don't have to do this. You could do this at the end, but I like to make sure that everything is just nice and even. There's no red in this section. There you go. Now there is. And now I'm just going to go all the way around five bundles, per section. Look at how absolutely full this wreath is. So beautiful. And here it is from the back, five of these bundles in each section. It's so beautiful. Here is our sign. It's going to look so pretty. So let's attach the sign next. I decided to put four pipe cleaners on this sign just to make sure that it's nicely balanced out. Let me take this off, put that to the side. Then I'm going to take my four pipe cleaners, fold them in half. With my two fingers, I'm going to hold them and just make a little seat. A little bit of hot glue, my pipe cleaner, more hot glue. And now you can grab fabric, you can grab whatever you want. I like to use felt because felt just melts into the hot glue and there's nothing that sticks better than felt. I'm doing the sides and you have a nice, permanent seal. And I'm going to do this to the rest of the corners. Now I'm just going to let the hot glue cool before I put it on my wreath. Look how huge this wreath is. It's not even fitting on the screen. All right, I'm just going to put my sign in the center, flip it, grab our pipe cleaners, and start attaching. Now that my sign is on, I want the sign to kind of be inside the wreath a bit, so I'm taking some of these curls that are holding it on top and pushing them out. Now that I have the sign where I want it, I have one more step that's definitely optional. And I grabbed some vase fillers from the Dollar Tree. These are silver and white. I'm going to be using the white ones because I would like to make the wreath look like the snow is kind of continuing on to my wreath. So you can guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab some of these vase fillers and hot glue them to some of my curls. And I'm going to be only doing it to the red and green, obviously, because it's going to show up on those. And I'm just using little medium ones, small ones. It's going to be so cute. And you don't need much hot glue for this. Just a little here, a little there, spread it out. And that is it for this wreath. I think it came out so cute. I 
hope you enjoyed this video and most of all I hope you got inspired somehow in the video to make a wreath of your own especially if you are new to wreath making this is a great wreath to get started because it's easy and it makes a huge impact and all you have to do is decorate here and there and that's it you have this ginormous gorgeous wreath if you would like to see more wreath tutorials, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you are notified every time a video comes out. And of course, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so this video and this channel grow so I can come back and show you more wreath tutorials. If you are still in a mood to watch more wreath tutorials, I prepared two videos for you to choose from and have some fun. With that being said, thank you so much for being with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye my sweet friends. Mwah.